Let's talk about beards, shall we? What's up everybody, it's your boy Bill for Anything. And in this video, it's really, really for the fellas out there and who are trying to grow their beards. I'm gonna help you with some tips on how to grow your beard as well as how to maintain your beard. Because growing a beard, it's an art form, okay? You gotta, you gotta be dedicated. You gotta have a certain level of commitment to excellence, all right? You don't wanna be walking around all crazy. So your boy got you. I'm gonna share some tips with you and uh, some products that I use as well. You know, help you along your journey, all right? So let's do this. Okay, so first and foremost, here's what you need to know. You need to know that growing a beard, a lot of it is genetics, okay? It's just a lot of it is genetics, all right? Some people just can't grow a beard for whatever reason, all right? And, and regardless of what anybody tell you, all right? Regardless of what anybody says, most men who don't have a beard can't grow a beard, okay? So don't let them fool you, all right? A lot of the baby faces out there, you know, I, I'm, I'm messing with y'all, I'm messing with y'all, man. But nah, for real though, for those of you out there, you know, I've always kind of read and kind of seen videos where they talk about biotin, right? So, biotin is a supplement that you, that, you know, a lot of people recommend is supposed to help you with hair growth. Here's the truth, guys. See, the thing with this is this. If your deficiency, if you have a deficiency in biotin, then obviously taking biotin is gonna help you more than others. Now, usually when people talk about biotin, they're referring to hair growth and they say, you know, you gotta drink a lot of water. Here's the thing, biotin is good for hair, nails, and skin. And truth be told, you should be drinking a lot of water anyway. Peep the stick on the bottle. <clears throat> and the thing is, is that you wanna have a balanced diet regardless, obviously that's gonna help with everything because it's gonna help with hair growth, it's also gonna help with your skin and everything like that. So you definitely wanna be, you know, in good health overall. This is not a magic pill. You're not gonna take it and all of a sudden your just, hair is gonna be growing out of everywhere. Don't believe the hype, okay? Take it, sure. You know, if you're, if you're someone who, you know, it's gonna help, you know, so I wouldn't say it's gonna hurt you, but it's gonna help for you to take it. But just, lo just know there's more to it than that, okay? So obviously if you're growing your beard, you, when you go get your hair cut, or I don't know if you, maybe you do it yourself, you, you don't wanna, you, you wanna, if you're going to a barbershop, you definitely wanna let them know that you're trying to grow a beard, right? So this way, when they're lining you up, they make sure that they, they do it in a way where they allow the hair or they follow your natural path of your hair so that way it can grow into a beard, right? You don't want them to be cutting into it. You wanna let them know from day one, I'm trying to grow my beard and every time you go in, you let them know, don't cut off the beard, line it up. So you have to say these things, okay? Now, the other thing is this, whether you're growing your beard, obviously it's gonna start off you know, short and then hopefully you know, it grows longer. You gotta allow it to grow longer. The thing is this, even if your hair is short, you still have to take care of it with a certain level of maintenance. So I'm gonna tell you where to start. First thing you gotta start with is you gotta get a good beard wash, okay? Now I use Jack Black beard wash. Um, I just, I like the smell of it. Um, I like how it makes the beard feel. You know, I usually use it first thing in the morning on my beard. But what you wanna make sure also is that it's just like the hair on your head. You know it's recommended not to always shampoo your hair every single day. It's the same thing with this. You wanna be using this product maybe, you know, twice a week, two to three times maybe at most, but it shouldn't be an everyday thing, okay? But it's definitely, definitely important because the hair on your head is not the same as the hair on your face, okay? Now, I know that went over some people's heads. Here's why I say this. Guys, listen to me. Listen to your boy. Do not use hair shampoo on your beard. Don't do that, okay? Because it's attached to your skin, your face. You would not use shampoo on your face, would you? So, you don't wanna use that on your beard. They're just, they're not made for that. You wanna use a, a, a specific beard wash to make sure that you know you, 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 your beard gets everything that it needs. Cause you don't wanna have dandruff, all right? That's just, it's, it's not cool. Your beard be itching, you just, you, you'll be looking crazy. You got on a black shirt on, 
and it's flaking all over the place, you're conscious, you don't want to do that. Now, the other thing that you need aside from a beard wash is you're going to need a beard conditioner, okay? A beard conditioner is good because of this you could use every day, okay? Because this is a much lighter formula. Again, it's very similar to a conditioner that you would use for the hair on your head. That's something that normally you can kind of use every single day if you want to. Again, if it's not too harsh um, because it's not like actual shampoo, this is the same thing. You can use this um, to make sure that, you know, it's clean. You get maybe the, the beard balm or the oil that you had from the day before you want to get that out, right? So definitely you want to have a good beard conditioner. Now, once you go away from that, the next thing is this. You got to have a beard oil, right? Duh. Okay, but this is a specific beard oil. Okay, let me explain because here's what I see. Guys, please don't be using no coconut oil or no cooking oils on your face, on your beard. Okay, specifically for your beard. All right, coconut oil is great, but even with coconut oil, there's different types of coconut oil. And so you want to make sure you're using the type that is actually for your skin for everyday use, not the same type of oil that you see that people cook with, all right? So don't just walk in there, grocery store, and just picking up oils and just like, I'm just gonna throw it in my face. If you want a budget or whatever, God bless. But for the most part, guys, invest in a beard oil. And you wanna make sure that you smell the oil, okay? You wanna make sure that it's, it's, it's a fragrance that you like. Now, I like manly scents, okay? So I like the, the, the smell of cigars, you know, the smell of, wood you know what i mean like that's that's just me okay if you into the fruity smells and all of that to each his own but you want to make sure that you get a beard oil and i like my beard oils to have a good scent on it so that way you know it just wakes you up in the morning man you feel you know you feel right okay so you got to have a beard oil and you want to be able to obviously massage that into your beard the next thing that you need is you need a beard balm okay there's a difference between the balm and the oil okay beard balm is much thicker okay it's really meant to stylize your beard all right so usually you'll put on the beard balm and then you'll kind of brush it in i use a specific brush that's meant to really just kind of mix everything around it's light it's not as hard as an actual uh beard brush that you would use for styling okay which brings me to another thing okay let's talk about the brushes for a minute okay this is important okay listen you should have a dedicated brush for your beard okay do not use the brush that you use on your hair on your head on your beard why because that you you put different products into your hair on your head versus on your face if you're brushing on your hair or vice versa you start with the top of your head the oils, the bombs, and all that is still on that brush. And then you start putting it on your face. And then you're using the one on your face. You're putting it on your hair, on your head. Guys, you don't want to be mixing all of that up, okay? And plus, your brush will get all dirty. You're going to have to clean it more frequently. No. You want to have a separate brush for your beard versus your face, okay? Versus, I'm sorry, your beard versus what's on your head, okay? So, the brushes I like to use... I like Kemp brushes, okay? Kemp brushes, they use boar bristles. Um, they have a good warranty on them. I believe they're lifetime. If you, you could just send it to them and they'll just send you a new one. Um, but these last forever, okay? You get one of these, you, you basically, you're set, all right? Now, here's the thing. Again, this is for your beard. This is for the top of your head. Clearly, you see the difference between the two, okay? So they serve a different purpose. That's why I recommend that you get one specifically for your beard. I like Kemp brushes um, because they got a nice groove on them uh, for your fingers when you're brushing. And, you know, they just they last forever. I've had mine for a number of years and it still feels just as good as it is from day one. And it's after washing it. So I recommend Kemp brushes. They ain't cheap. All right. A lot of the stuff I'm showing you right now, you know, they, they, they do cost. But again, you want to invest in quality. You got to treat yourself right, all right? If you're not loving you, nobody else is going to love you, all right? So, you know, invest in yourself. Save your money. Do, you know, do the right thing. All right. Next thing is this. You want to make sure that you have an actual comb, okay? 
Now, this specific comb is a beard comb that I like to use. Um, I specifically like the wood over um, the ones that have like steel in them. Uh, I'm not really into that, um, but this one to me is more comfortable for my beard. I have a thick uh, beard um, that curls. You know, my brothers out there, you know, you know what I mean. So you wanna you wanna have a wood comb because it just gets through um, and just kind of untangles everything. Especially in the morning, you wake up after sleeping and you're rolling around your your beard on your pillow. You want to be able to untangle it while it's wet um, before you start adding your products in there, right? So definitely make sure that you get a beard comb. Very important. Now, next thing is this. You have that, so you have all these products together, right? So now you're growing your beard. You're going, you know, maybe you have time to go to the barber shop, maybe you don't. You gotta understand when you're growing your beard, it's easier to maintain, okay, but if you specifically, you know, maybe you work at a job that's corporate or, you know, you, you, you're doing something where you got to present yourself in front of people all the time, you want to make sure that you're maintaining it. And that might mean that you're going to have to do some things maybe even before you get to the barber, right? So if you, let's say you get a cut once a week, um, but you know, your hair starts growing back real fast, you may have to do some things on your own, maybe because you can't get to a barber shop. Because maybe you're working or you're doing some things, traveling or whatever the case may be. I definitely recommend every man should have a straight razor, okay? Now, the thing I love about a straight razor is this, is that it gets really close, but you want to make sure that you practice with it. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that you could watch. I'm not going to necessarily demonstrate that now, but I'm just giving you guys an example that you need to have a razor. If it's not a straight razor, go ahead and have, get you an Andis razor or, or, or something, you know, based on your skin type that you're comfortable with. Because the idea here is that you want to be able to, you know, make sure that you maintain that line, right? And so I like the straight razor because I like to do it dry. Now, one of the things that I that I have that I use along with the straight razor is I use a pre-shave oil. Okay, so this way I can kind of trace it along where the hair is starting to grow out. And then I'll use the straight razor to actually line it in, um, as opposed to using like actual shaving, you know, um, the actual foam. Like I, I just, that stuff, I don't know, just doesn't work for me, okay? But definitely every man should have a straight razor um, lying around because it's just a manly thing, you know what I mean? It just is what it is. Even if you're not gonna use it on yourself, have one. You know, so this way when you go to your barber, you go to someone to do cut, you you have your own, man. It's just more sanitary. You don't want to be using the blades everybody else is using and all that. So, you know, definitely invest in one. Again, they ain't cheap, at least specifically the ones that don't use the uh, disposable razors. Like the one I have, you're going to spend a little penny, but again, it's something that you'll have for a lifetime and maybe you can even pass on to your kids, etc. So, that's what it is. Okay. So that's all the products that I use, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down below. Um, thank you for watching this video. Now, shout out to the Bed Gang out there. <laughs> okay, hopefully you guys found this video useful. Um, it's your boy, Bill, for anything. Thank you for watching. Peace and love. I will catch you on the next video. Deuces.